Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part five of Tableau certification series. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. First question is from which locations you can sort a visualization, select all apply. Options are the analysis menu, tooltip on the mark card, access, the worksheet menu, a field label and a header. Let's try one by one each for let's drag a measures and a dimension. Okay, and let's change it to first bar card. So first is analysis menu. When you click on analysis menu, you can see we are not getting any option to sort the data. So this is the wrong answer. Second is worksheet menu. When you click on it, you can see we are not getting any option to sort the data. So this is also wrong answer. Third one is tooltip. When you click on the tooltip, you can see there is a no option to sort the data. So this is also wrong answer. Fourth one is field label. When you click on the field and you can see we are getting the option to sort the data. So when you click on it, you can sort the data by using ascending, descending and by using many option. So this is the right answer. And by using header also, you can see this is A to Z. That's the option when you click on it it will sort the data into ascending and descending order and this is also right and by using access this is also right when you click on this sort option you can see we can sort the data okay the one thing that you should remember is when you click on one time it will sort the data into descending order when you click on second time it will sort the data into ascending order and when you click on the third time it will remove the sorting order okay So the right answer is C, E, and F. And also you can sort the data by using these two options that is for ascending order and that is for descending order. Okay. Next question is different types of sort by options available in Tableau. Options are field, manual, nested, data source order, alphabetical, and all. Let's see. How many options are available so when you click on this field icon and go to sort you can see we are getting sort by option here and when you click on it you we are getting data source order alphabetic field manual and nested okay so field manual nested alphabetical and source order so all options are present in the table so the right answer is all Next question is so this is like opposite to this question. This question can be asked like how many sort options and available in Tableau and and this question also be asked like what are the sort by options not available in Tableau? Okay, so you should uh, know like how many types of sort by options available in Tableau. Okay, so as we uh, already discussed about this, we can directly find out the wrong answer from in the options. Wrong answer is numeric. Okay, that is D. Next question is there are four regions east, west, north, south. How we can sort them in north, east, south, west order? Options are manual sort, nested sort, alphabetical sort, and field sort. Okay. So if you focus on the question, like this question is asking us to sort the data by manually. Okay. So the right answer is A, but let's try it how we can sort. First, let's try reason. Okay. And we want to sort them into any order. Let's say we want to sort them into south, east, west. So for this, we can right click on it, go to sort. And from there, we can select manual. And now we can, let's say we want to keep the south on the top. We can keep on the south central at the second last position and west at the second so we can set it down here okay this is how you can manually sort the values okay for this the right answer is a
next question is how to clear all sort at a time options are right click on the field go to sort then clear sort right click on the field and then clear sort click on the worksheet menu and then clear sort okay let's see let's say let's drag category subcategory and profit okay now let's sort the data and sort this category as well into descending order okay now if you want to clear the sort from the both field you can go to worksheet go to clear and then go to sort okay now you can see the sort is removed from the both so this is how you can remove the sort at a single time and what you can do is there is alternate way you can click on the drop down of clear sheet when you click on it you get the option of clear sort as well from here also you can clear the sort at a time so the right answer is Next question is when you want to provide additional information when hovering over a field in the data pane as shown in the following exhibit, what should you configure for the field? Options are an alias, header label, default comment, and hierarchy. Okay. So basically, when you hover on any of the it should show some of the text or the values or how we can add that. For this, we'll use default comment for this right click on it go to default properties then go to comments from here we can add any other text or any other values when we hover on the field we can show that okay let's say add this field has three values okay click on it and when you hover on it you can see this it is showing this th this field has three values okay so we we can add this by using default comments so the right answer is c let's move to the next slide next question is when viewing quick table calculation such as percentage difference from that uses a value in the previous column what would be the first data value in the visualization options are zero null duplicate from the nearest column and current value okay let's try it let's say we are having category and subcategory based on profit and if we apply percentage difference here you can see it shows null in the first value okay so the right answer is b next question is which is not a table calculation type options are standard deviation rank yoy growth and percentile let's check it for this you can go and go with quick table calculation you can see we are having rank we are having percentile we are having year of year growth but we don't have standard deviation okay so the right answer is a next question is valid ways to add total in the worksheets options are from analytics pane from worksheet menu from analysis menu from format menu okay let's see how we can add the total here the so first is we can go to analytics and from total we can drag total subtotals grand total so here you can see this is grand total is coming let remove this and add sales now you can see so first right answer is from analytics pin second is if we go to analysis and from total we can add show grand totals okay so the first is from analytics pin second is from analysis menu okay so the right answer is a and c next question is view is showing line chart over time if we want to display percentage of growth over years growth over years which table calculation will be used options are percentile year of year growth compound growth rate and percentage 
difference from this question we can easily analyze we want to show growth over years for this we can use year of year growth okay let's see how we can show year of year growth now let's drag order date and drag sales as well now you can see line chart is created now let's apply our year to year growth when you click on it you can see year of year growth is applied now let's change it to table to get a better view now you can see in 2020 we are having minus 4.26 year growth then we have 29 percent then we have 21 percent okay so this is how you can use year of year growth for this right answer is b next question is forecasting is only possible with at least one measures true or false so the answer is true because for forecasting we require at least one measures let's drag our order date again and change it to continuous let's change it to month and drag our sales okay now if we go to analytics our forecasting option is available okay so we require at least one measure so the right answer is true technique used for forecasting is options are exponential smoothing binomial or polynomial so the right answer is a to know more about this you can refer this article i will provide the link in the description box okay the right answer is a let's move to the next set next question is scope of table calculation is select or apply options are cell row level pane and table let's see for this let's remove this and drag category and let's drag subcategory as well and drag profit okay when we apply our table calculation let's deprive percentage of difference and when you right click on it and go to compute using you will see we can apply it to table we can apply it to pane cell and field as well okay so the right options are cell pane and table that is a c and d if you will find the field in the option as well this is also right option okay as of now we have a row level this is wrong next question is which is not a trend model options are exponential linear power and binomial distribution for this let's drag our order date and change it to continuous and let's drag profit as well let's go to analysis and drag our trend model okay when you drag the trend model you can see we have five trend model that is linear logarithmic exponential polynomial and power so from this option so binomial is not present so the right answer is binomial that is option d next question is what are the option appears when you drag reference line into view select all apply options are cell table view and pane let's drag reference line and you can see we are getting three options that is table pane and cell okay so the right answer is a b and d next question is what are the options appears when you drag trend line into view options are cell table view and none of them okay when we drag the trend line into view you will get the option of trend model okay note the options that are present here that is cell table and view so the right answer is none of them so when you drag the reference line you will get the option that is cell table and pane but when you drag the trend line you will get the options of trend model okay let's move to our last question you need to show how internet uses value change from 
year to years as a percentage which quick table calculation should you apply to the internet uses of field that is percentile difference compound growth rate and percentage difference okay first let's create the view let's drag category subcategory and sales okay so we have to show the percentage of difference between these values so how we can show this so for this we'll use our quick table calculation that is percentage difference okay now you can see it is showing the percentage difference from each value okay so the right answer is d that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos